Alright, so before you think about making something, think about what size it needs to be in Scribus. Okay? In this case, um, maybe for example, I was making a mock-up credit card. You know, something that's just ridiculous, or I just need the size of a credit card to uh, have it so it fits in a wallet better. Sometimes business cards, we make business cards because they're aesthetically appealing uh, because of the size ratio, but credit cards are just there. And they they are equally appealing because <laughs> it's just within our nature what to spend money or like money or no money to be a credit card. So in our psyche, a credit card is just as much as a business card, just as much as a dollar nowadays. Um, so here's our size, right? So in Scribus, I'm going to put this size over here. And you can look up the product size on the internet, google.com. Type in credit card size. New document. So, in here, let's say I knew the size to be in millimeters. Okay? 85.6 by 53.98. Okay? So, the default unit of measurement, I could choose millimeters right off the bat if I wanted to, just to get the size in. And when you click anywhere, what will happen is it will it'll put that into it, or you can hit enter on the keyboard. Now, if you ever want to switch over to, like, inches, you could. It will convert it for you. Even that's kind of lazy if you think about it. But uh, millimeters is a beautiful language. Metrics is a beautiful language. But let's say you knew the printer to have certain margins, and the margins might be, uh, 0.25. Well, and you don't, and you're American, and you can't do the math. 0.25. And the top and bottom, I'm just going to leave those as half. Well, no, no. How about, since it's actually a product, it doesn't need too much of a uh, actual margin, because it's a product. Uh, this is not the layout. So, point. 1 to 5 will give you an eighth of an inch. Alright, so there we go. We have a new document. Now if any one time that you need to uh, like change that document, you can go back into the setup of the document and you can change any attribute on it no big deal. So, um, I think that's it for this video. I wanted to just kind of show you how to make a new document, the ease of switching between units and measurements, and uh, where to change it if you need to. Let's move on to the next video.